and today we're going to explore the most polluted city in the world. No joke, Lahore recently got the award of being the most polluted city in the world. The pollution is so high here that at night when we arrived here we couldn't even see further than three meters ahead of you. We even told, except for the pollution, it's an amazing, gorgeous city. First impression, traffic everywhere. In Russia, more than two not allowed, there are five. How do they fit in them? So we're now in the middle of the traffic and after driving for like one hour around the city, I can I uh, feel the smog in my mouth, in my lips, it's like a metal taste. And uh, it, it was so heavy to breathe. It's like you, you smoked 100 cigarettes in an hour, that's how it feels like. It's like, it's like I put my nose next to exhaust of a car and started breathing. Uh, now in uh, one of the most beautiful spots here in Lahore, with a lot of history, a lot of buildings and a lot of noise. Like that. <laughs> This is Jesse. Remember our best friend who sent from Abbottabad? He's back. It says anyone spreading dirt in this park will be fined 500 rupees. We want to enter now inside here. It's very beautiful behind. I don't know what it's exactly called. So this is a very beautiful gate of fort in Lahore. But unfortunately it is closed today because the uh, president is going to visit this place. They're like preparing to clean the street so it's dust free. And that's why we cannot enter inside. See? We really want to get inside. Let's take a quick look. The Lahore Fort is a citadel of the city, one of the most important historical places here. We were not certain if we would make it to Lahore because of everything, what was going on, our schedule, we were traveling very slow and we were running out of time. But I'm so happy we made it, I miss this kind of atmosphere. Our next destination is the largest mosque of Mughal era. So this is the Bashahi Mosque, uh, it's built in 1672, 100,000 people can pray here at the same time. It's second biggest mosque of Pakistan. We had to enter the whole territory of the mosque barefoot. Okay, what you may or may not know about mosque, everywhere you go in an area that is considered of mosque, out of respect, you have to take your shoes off. So even if the floor is rough, maybe dirty, your shoes needs to be off because we are in a mosque and so everybody's work, walking here either on their socks or bare feet. It's here just so magnificent. I, wow, I, I love this history, this architecture, the crowd and the fun part is there's a lot, a lot of people but I can see not a single tourist around us here. This is so far the most beautiful city in Pakistan and the most beautiful place I've seen by now in Pakistan. This place is even more beautiful than Islamabad. When I first arrived to Pakistan, I arrived to Islamabad. When I saw the life in Islamabad, I was really impressed because this is not what I imagined when I heard Pakistan. Uh, because Islamabad is so peaceful and so clean and there are not so many people outside. So now between all the chaos and everything we made it to the old city of Lahore. Just a quick comparison, this is so much crowded, so much more noise and so much of everything compared to Islamabad. Islamabad is quiet, clean, but this atmosphere is unique and I still love it. Now. When I arrived to Lahore, the first thought that crossed my mind was Yes, this is a real Pakistan. It was full of people, it was very noisy. Oh, Jesse, look, the famous bracelet that we see in Indian movies. Bangles. They're called bangles. These are handmade traditional bamboo. What is this called? Just? Hand fans. Hand fans uh, from Punjab. I bought one for myself. What is this? This is water chestnut. Chestnut? Try one. Mm -hmm. This is good. Good. Thank you. And uh, one of the reasons why the city is so polluted is because Punjab region is uh, famous for growing rice and after they harvested the rice they burn all the fields and that also creates a big smog. Uh, on top of that, it's uh, one second most populated city in Pakistan. There are many cars 
this city has a border with India so some pollution comes from that side as well let's explore the city and find great things to focus on in Lahore because there are many many great and wonderful people living in this city this is the most narrow street I've ever been to this is a house this is a house? yeah Hello. come here say something it's beautiful background I don't have anything to say my bicycle Imagine you need to tell something to one million people right now about Lahore. Lahore is very, very interesting and cultural city. It's totally different of what we've seen in Islamabad. Islamabad is a new built city. It's a very new city. Streets are white and I want to keep the city, that city very clean. Now this year you see all the history. You see the people, how they live, super small streets. And now we are in an old hammam place. From the 60th century, all the ornaments are handmade. And it was a cool bath for people who were coming from uh, India, from Delhi to Lahore to take a shower after a long way. It was five or six hundred kilometers yeah, away. Yeah. The fun thing is we're here right in this hammam. Uh, there's one room and if I talk in the corner, Anna is right there and I can still hear her from the other part of the room. Basically, if I say something in this corner, then Jesse on the other corner can hear me and other people can hear me. Welcome to Shalomar Gardens in Lahore. It is a World Heritage Site and excited to check out these big beautiful gardens and learn more about them. And exactly this building was built for English traveler visiting Pakistan in 1825 on the way to Turkmenistan. Me tell. Me tell. Me tell. Okay, tell. I will interfere somewhere. No. <laughs> so, so in this garden. Here, in this garden. <laughs> so these gardens are filled with amazing, beautiful fountains. And it would look so epic if it just will work. Now we have been told that in one minute, especially for us, they will turn on the fountains. That's how many tourists come in. <laughs> but it's amazing. I, I hope it's true and I hope to see the spectacular spectacle of water dancing. In this garden there are more than 300 fountains. And you're walking and thinking that would be amazing if they would be on and this man is turning on fountains especially for us my first time ever on a tour bus I have seen them a lot everywhere but uh now yeah. Thank you. DJ has chosen this dates from a time before Pakistan even existed. It's an old city. Islamabad is built from the moment Pakistan was a country, not Lahore. Lahore was here already. A lot of people. There were many lights. It was very alive. There were so many festivals, restaurants, cafeterias, so many people outside walking, smiling, laughing. And there's just so much going on. It's so colorful. It's so bright. Where are we entering now? The Holy Castle. Come on. Not entering Holy Castle. And you can see a lot of architectural old buildings that just carry the history through the ages. And you can see the representation of just the whole culture left its prints on the buildings and on people and lifestyle. Uh, and just the whole vibe of the city, Lahore was amazing. To end this amazing day, we end here in the food streets in Lahore. Lahore is just amazing. Great human jungle, amazing atmosphere, amazing building. I just love, love this kind of vibes. Awesome. And I totally recommend my this city right here in the food court. And the possibility with this incredible view have some food and then just enjoy.
the amazing atmosphere here. And I can honestly say this is my favorite city of Pakistan and it's must visit for all the tourists from all around the world. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and ring the bell to not miss my next adventures. And if you want to support my channel, you can always buy me a coffee, the link is in the description.